Morning guys, welcome to today's Garage Cricket. As it's the last one this week, we've got a famous scenario for you to recreate and we're going to Headingley last year uh, for the remarkable Ashes Test match there where England won thanks to a wonderful 10th wicket partnership from Ben Stokes and Jack Leach. Today, we're going to be trying to recreate that famous innings from Jack Leach. He survived 17 balls from a great attack including Pat Cummins, Josh Hazelwood and Nathan Lyon. So we're going to be recreating those three bowlers and seeing are you able to survive the pressure and the chaos in your garage, garden or bedroom or wherever it is you're playing. I'm going to be recreating it with my ball, my ball and my bat. That's all I need. But obviously if you've got other people to play with, then go and recreate the actual scenario in your, gar uh, in your garden if you've got the opportunity. So, first things first, in our first ever video, we spoke about getting different feeds to mimic different bowlers. So, the first people we need to recreate are Messimas, Pat Cummins, Josh Hazelwood, two brilliant 90 mile an hour plus quicks who are really going to challenge uh, Jack in this game here. So how are we going to get a feed that recreates the pace and bounce? I think this time, uh, and today I'm going to be using uh, a hockey stick, obviously feel free to use your cricket bat, whatever equipment you've got at home, remember, so that you, you can stay home and still play. Um, I'm going to take the bottom hand off. Uh, in this first instance, I'm going to feed overarm with my left arm. The reason for that being that it's going to be a bit faster, there's going to be a bit more bounce potentially there. So it will look something like that there. And you can see how it carries through quite nicely uh, to my slip corner. Let's see, one more time. And that one there is a bit shorter and to come up into this area so we can challenge different lengths. So feeding with your left arm here will recreate a right arm round the wicket bowler. Feeding with your right arm here, so if you take your top hand off this time, if you're batting as a left-hander, okay, well that's hit the handle of the, uh, the handle of the mat, uh, sorry, of the ramp, we don't want that there. Okay, we see that angle there, that's a little bit better for us, uh, and this would indicate our right arm around the wicket bowlers going across the batsman. So we're going to use that there to recreate my two seamers. I've got my, I've left the uh, fence down here uh, because that's going to create some variable bounce. Remember it's a fourth day pitch and this ramp here may just mean that we're actually going to use it more for the spinner later but it does mean there may be a little bit of seam movement off there to make life a little bit more difficult for Jack. So those there are our two seam bowlers, Cummins and Hazelwood. So now, on to Nathan Lyon. Now, Nathan Lyon is a great off-spin bowler, uh, really difficult to face in the last inning when the ball is turning. And for Jack Leach here, it's going to be turning away from him, past his outside edge, towards the offside if you're batting as a left-hander, as Jack is. Now, to recreate that, as you can see, I've got my ramp in place over here. My ramp uh, will mean that if a ball hits it, it will rag off in another direction uh, to simulate that turn. Uh, and then we've also got this uh, fence in here, which is going to get some variable bounce and also mean the ball might go straight on. It might even go the other way a little bit. You never know with the footholds in a last inning. So it will look like this. This time it's going to be, I would recommend taking the bottom hand off the bat. So the left hand here, you can put some spin on it as you feed to assist it um, even more. And it's going to be an underarm feed like that. You can see hitting that ramp there, you might even go too full. There we are, that's come back the other way uh, off the fence there. And that there is going to recreate Nathan Lyon uh, today for us. So we've got our six bowlers, uh, six bowlers? We've got our three bowlers, sorry, uh, in place. We've got Cummins, we've got Hazel, we've got Lyon, which means now we can recreate the scenario. So it's game time. A reminder of a scenario, you need to survive 17 balls. You've come in, the score is 286 for nine. We're still miles away. Ben Stokes needs to go mental to get us close and lead England to victory. So you need to survive Cummins, Hazelwood and uh, Lyon to make sure that England are able to get home and get that victory. I've gone into my fancy dress box. I've picked up my glasses here. Okay, so I'm ready to go as Jack Leach. Let's see how we go. Here we go then, ball one. Uh, for the purposes of this, I'm gonna bowl five balls from Hazelwood, then six from Lyon, then six from Cummins. Obviously, uh, they didn't get a full over at Jack Leach in the game, so you can mix it up if you want, but this is how my game's gonna work. So, we're gonna start with right arm round, Hazelwood fed with a left arm, uh, over arm feed. Let's play. Oh, that's a pretty good ball, hit him up high. Not out. Oh, nearly knocked my glasses off. 
Two balls, feisty stuff from Hazelwood. That one can be left alone. Three balls. There we are. Another lead, four balls. Can he get that hostility back? Can Hazel, that one doesn't count. That's off the edge of the fence and uh, no good to us. Sorry, so he's had four balls. He's got one more left. I said he had five balls in time. There we are, that one's gone through the roof again. Up onto the top of the garage, lovely. So, five balls from uh, Hazelwood survived. On comes Nathan Lyme there. So you see, I've gone to an underarm feed, that one. Outside off stump, left alone. Good turn, man. Two balls from Lyme, gone. Maybe change the angle, needs to make him play here. Three balls gone. Deep in his crease, two to go. What's Lyon got? Oh, that's come back the other way. The, the fence, he's got one more delivery here. Deary me, probably should be forward to that, but he's survived, which means that it is Pat Cummins onto bowl. He's got six balls left. He's bowling right arm over. That one goes across the batsman. Left alone, hit those stumps, Pat. Ooh, off a ramp and away. Two more to go, not sure he's getting down or that's coming through pretty quickly. Three more to go. Come on, Pat, hit those stumps. Ooh, that's come off the brick wall a bit differently. We'll ignore that one, still three to go. Again, it's come off the, uh, the ramp, so still three to go. Oh, and he's beaten him outside off stump. Two balls. Three. Turf lever down. Oh, he's got bats on it. Oh. What a delivery. Just squeezes it out time. One to go then. Leaves it alone. And it's over to Ben Stokes then. Hopefully Ben can finish it at the other end. We've done our job and we've survived. Now, if you want to make the challenge harder, obviously, get hurling that ball down. One final thing you can obviously do. Now, Jack became quite famous, obviously, for uh, unmisting his glasses. Today's boss level challenge is can you face those bowlers with steamed up glasses? In pairs your vision, makes it a little bit harder. Good luck, enjoy creating it, and as always, uh, send us uh, your videos uh, and your photos. Thanks guys.